Welcome to Channel's Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. The books, fiction and non-fiction, that will feature in today's show remind us of the significance of telling and preserving stories of our important events and iconic personalities. The stories of the authors of these books also provide us with much inspiration and plenty to ponder on. So let's get started. Many people outside of northern Nigeria appear to be unfamiliar with the history of the region in terms of literature, particularly those written in English language. But like many other parts of the country, some important writings and writers have come from that region. At the recently concluded Lagos Book and Arts Festival, I met two young imagined voices from northern Nigeria who have already proven themselves to be very talented writers. This report introduces them and their fascinating new novels. Enjoy it. Northern Nigeria has produced some of the finest writers in the country. From Labo Yari and Mohamed Sule to Abubakar Gimba and Miriam Ali Ali, these writers have helped to tell Nigerian stories in enlightening, incisive and entertaining ways. Two emerging writers from Northern Nigeria are El Nathan Jan and Abubakar Ibrahim. El Nathan is a satirist. He has twice been shortlisted for the prestigious King Prize for African Writing as of 2013 and 2015, and his writings have been published in Per Contra, Evergreen Review, and Chimurenga's The Chronic. Abubakar Ibrahim is the author of The Whispering Trees, which was shortlisted for the Etisalat Prize of Prose, and whose title story was shortlisted for the prestigious King Prize for African Writing. Abubakar has won the BBC African Performance Prize and the Amatu Braid Prize of Prose. Through their recent works, these two writers are tearing down walls of prejudices and reminding us all of how important it is to sell Nigerian stories. L. Nathan's new book is Born on Tuesday. Well, Born on a Tuesday is a coming-of-age story uh, about a young man from northern Nigeria, Sokoto to be precise, who begins a journey to self-discovery and, and tries to look for a father figure in general. And it, it explores themes of you know, extremism, the fusion of religion and politics, um, northern Nigerian culture, and what it means to be a young man growing up on the streets in northern Nigeria. Abubakar's new book is titled Season of Crimson Blows Ups. It's, um, it's a novel set in uh, northern Nigeria and uh, it's about uh, a 55 year old widow who has a very explicit relationship with, um, with a man who is 30 years younger than her and uh, draws from the background of um, violence in Jaws and uh, you know the exploration of the needs of people and their hopes and dreams and how they navigate the uh, challenges life throws at them. Beyond gripping entertainment, what makes your works relevant are the inspirations behind them and the context within which they situate their stories. What are their thoughts on writing for and about Northern Nigeria? And how do they feel being emerging writing stars from Northern Nigeria? It's important that uh, stories from the North are also heard, that people know that, um, you know, besides the portrayal of uh, Northerners in the literature of people from the South, there's, there's something deeper. Uh, first of all, I must say that I'm I'm very careful not to, in a way, ghettoize Nigerian literature into northern Nigeria and all of that. Because what happens is, then you have Nigerian literature and northern Nigerian literature. 
in which case the, the subset is inferior to the whole. Because nobody calls people from Southern Nigeria Southern Nigerian writers. They only say Northern. So it's almost like it's a, an inferior subset of the whole. And so while I, I say that I write about Northern Nigeria and I'm from Northern Nigeria and my writing is about Northern Nigeria, I, am, I would not want to create a category. Because what will happen is, 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 you know, ghettoization. But I think that it is important that some of us focus on issues that happen in northern Nigeria. My, my writing is a response to what I call the organization of people. You know, as far as people are concerned, the northerners are the others. You know, so they are the megads and basically that's it. So they make an appearance and the idea of having them in that book is to make a mockery of their accent, of the way they behave. But um, we, we fail to acknowledge that, uh, you know, these are people with the same universal concerns we have. They are people with dreams and ambitions and hopes and, uh, you know, so, so my writing is essentially, yes, in a way, a response to this organization. I want to show that even though people are different, I'm trying to connect on a human level with every other person in the world. So they may be northerners, they may be Muslims, or they may be different from you. But essentially, they are the same as you because they have the same universal concern that a person in Japan and a person in Korea or a person in Jamaica has. So essentially, that is, that is very important for, for the writing I do and for, you know, in framing the ideas I try to convey in my literature. Our aim, ultimately, at least mine, is to bring Northern Nigeria into mainstream Nigerian conversation. And this is, this is what I'm really interested in, bringing Northern Nigeria which is not as spoken about in the, in the Nigerian discourse, bringing it into mainstream Nigerian conversation, not a side conversation, but a mainstream conversation. So that when we're talking Nigeria, people don't just say, oh, Biafra, oh, Niger Delta, and then maybe Boko Haram. They're able to talk about Northern Nigeria in, with, in the same manner that like they do about Biafra or the Niger Delta, with the same level of nuance and the same level of detail. Not just that there are Almajiri or there are beggars or whatever it is, or there's bombing going on, but the, 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 the details, how people are different from each other, how even people in the same group are broken down into further groups, how this affects their relationship with others and with, their, with, with people outside Northern Nigeria. What does it mean, you know, to be from Northern Nigeria? You know, what are the different groups of people that exist? How do they correlate? Many things like this, you know. For me, I think that it leads to a better understanding of Nigeria if you understand each of the constituent parts better. North, south, east or west, it seems like Nigerian writers are becoming determined to sell the many stories of Nigeria in creative and relevant ways.